Hey guys, it's JC Chandler back again with another tutorial. Thank you for pushing play. I'm excited about this one. I posted this, these earrings a little while ago and I got tons of feedback asking, please do a tutorial. So here it is finally. And if you try these, please tag me in the comments. I would love to see your finished product. So without any further ado, here we go. What you're going to need are some wood blanks. You can use any shape that you'd like. I have some larger ones like the ones I used here. I have some smaller ones. Like I, I think I wanna do these today, but I'm not sure, I haven't made a decision. But you can also use any shape, any shape you want. Whatever wood pieces you have, no need to go out and purchase anything new. But if you like this shape, I will have a link in the description for you along with everything else that I'm using. So you're gonna need your wood blanks. You're going to need some earring findings, whichever you decide to use. These have the uh, bail on it already, and I'm probably going to do a little different today. You're going to need a nail file. I have this package and another package that I got off of Amazon. Again, link will be below. I'm going to, nope, not this one, I'm sorry. We'll be using resin at the end, so you're gonna need some resin, whatever you decide to use. This is Jay Dixon. I will show you a link. Again, everything's linked below. You may or may not want to use glue. I don't because this is a permanent vinyl that I'm using, which brings me to this. I'm using a different design, as you can see. I love the hearts. This is gonna be a little tricky because I'm gonna to have to line it up, but it's okay. But this vinyl has a sticky backing, okay? It's permanent vinyl. I'm using it for something that it is not made for. Let's see if I can get it, get it off. I had it off a second ago. On one side, it's rainbow. The other side, it is silver. Now this is really, really, very sticky. So I'm not going to use glue today. What you're going to also need is something to stain your wood piece. That's how we're going to start. It's going to be on the back. And these are my favorite. I love using these. This is just an ink pad that you will dab onto the back of your wood. We'll go over that. And they each have a refill as well. Again, link will be below. Let's see, if you decide to use glue, I usually like to put it on, it's pretty thick, put it on with a toothpick. So that is going to be shown in a different video because I'm not using the glue, but I want you to know that toothpicks are great to spread glue. What else? You're gonna need some scissors if the piece is larger, which it will be than your, your um, item, let's see. I'm going to use a different kind of um, finish, uh, excuse me, finding. This one is going to be glued to the back of the wood piece like that. So I'm gonna keep this covered up and I'm going to put my ear hook on like that. We will go over that. All right, so there's my finding. What else, what else, what else? This avoids a jump ring. And I'm, I'm tired of jump rings. I don't really care to play with them as much as I have been lately, so. And t who? let's see if we can get started. All right, I'm gonna move these out of the way. I'm going to work with the smaller. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Work with the smaller ovals. All right. So where's my opening again here? Let's see if I can get that. There we go. So what I do is, first of all, let me cut this to about the size that I want. By the way, these scissors are bomb. Okay. So they lock when I'm not using them and then unlock 
So now I'm just squeezing. I love these. My hands are very happy that I got them. So now I'm done. Push and they sit right there. All right, so now I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to do my best to have this heart, these hearts show up in the center of my, let's see, this one is, it's wider, so I'm going to go for here. I'm hoping I got it. Press, 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 and then here to try and have the same kind. Oh, my hands are shaky. Press, press, press. All right, so now what I'm going to do, just so it doesn't stick onto the back of my, I'm going to varnish it, varnish, B as in boy, varnish it down with my little card here and it is sticky so i'm just trying to get it to adhere all over okay hopefully you can see that and i'm pressing all around the edges so the heart looks like it's in the middle pretty good yay i did good all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and cut this right here so i can start working with my piece so i'm gonna press 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 now here's where the file comes in okay and i usually use the coarse side there's a medium side and a coarse side it's 100 and then 180 so i'm using the coarser side first and i'm just going to rub downward on the edge of my piece now again this is this is permanent vinyl i think it's permanent heat transfer vinyl made for a heat press t-shirts stuff like that and so i was like you know what i'm gonna try something here so see how that comes right off that comes right off. And now I'm gonna use my smoother side to file downward, just down off the corner. It's almost like you're rounding off the corner. So it is down there. So this is nice and smooth, okay? So I'm gonna do the other one. We're gonna cut it just because, peel that off and file now this is taking longer because i'm i'm showing you but normally i am zipping through quite a few of these in one sitting i'll put on my jazz music and i will just sit in zen and that's how i get so many done i'll go ahead and get them done right in a row so here's my earrings very very nice and quick look at that oh my god these are beautiful i'm so glad i did the heart and the smaller one look at that absolutely gorgeous so now on here there's a hole so i'm not gonna poke that hole i did that on this one so that i can get the binding in but i'm not gonna do that today i'm going to use it as is and i'll show you why all right so i am going to stain let's see we're going to use ground espresso i like to go with a brown one vintage photo hmm whatever choose whatever you choose but i seem to go with the i'm gonna go with the lighter one today open this up and all i'm gonna do is rub around the edge all right See how that's getting dark there? Rub that around that edge. It doesn't take long to dry. Get the stain all the way around. Oops. Get this one done. And yes, your fingers are gonna get dirty or brown. <laughs> 
So forgive the color of my hands, but you see what's going on here. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, because this is so sticky, you could probably get away with um, letting these be your earrings as a finished product. I wouldn't do that because it may come apart at some point. We don't want that. So what I'm also going to do is put resin on it, but let me do this. So now I'm just dabbing. You dab as much as you want until you get the darkness that you want. And that is the back. So those are going to need to dry. And it's not gonna take long. I have a fan here, so I'm gonna sit them here in front of the fan while I talk to you. All right, so definitely make sure you have some cleanup space here. All right, so now this piece right here, just so you know, I want to let you know this is a um, glue-on bale. So I will be using the toothpick and the uh, glue. Where's the toothpick? Yeah, I'll be using the toothpick and the glue to put the bale on. But this is after I put the resin on, okay? So let's see. I am trying to find something sticky to put my uh, okay so one thing that I do once I have the backing glued on is I will put some resin to seal it on to make sure that this will not come off so I go around the edge and make sure that it is there and I'll put it under the UV light. Go ahead and make sure that the top and the bottom is sealed with the resin, locking this in and I'll be back after it is sealed. Okay, now that this has sealed and it's in place and there's no fear of it coming off, I'm gonna go ahead and resin the whole back. I didn't realize this was gonna stain my mat. I can't even get that color off now. Ah, oh well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and resin this whole back. And I'm not going to bother, um, excuse me, bore you with doing this on camera i just wanted to show you that i am making it a finished piece by resining the back fully okay so i'll be back after that all right so the back has been sealed so this is not coming off here's the finished product i put the ear wires on off camera Look at these. Oh my God, I am in love with these. I only put one coat of resin on there for the sake of time, but I normally will put two coats of resin to get that deep magnification. Look at this. If you try these, please tag me and let me see. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.